Hi there. In the last video, I showed you how to find the mean and the standard deviation of this distribution by hand. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use a calculator to get the same results. So let's get up our calculator. Here I have a Casio calculator. You might be using a different type. If you are, I suggest you check your instructions to see how to use it. I'll show you how to use this particular type of calculator. Your own calculator may be similar. First of all, you need to have it in stat mode. So I need to hit this mode button and it brings up a list of options. The default option is comp for computations. I want to select 2 for stat. Once I've selected 2 for stat, it brings up another list of options. I want the first one, which is one variable. So I hit 1 and this allows me to enter my data. This is a very useful tool. So I enter my data, 3 is the first piece, followed by an equals, and then my next piece of data, 8, followed by an equals, and then 37, followed by an equals, and 20, followed by equals, and 7, followed by equals. Now I have all of my five pieces of data in. It's prompting me for a sixth, but I don't need to add any more in. Now the next thing is to bring up another list of options which will allow me to calculate the mean and the standard deviation of this distribution. So I hit the all clear button, this orange button, AC. Then it's this option I want. If you see it above the number 1, in yellow writing it says stat. So I, hit, I need to hit shift and then 1 and it brings me up the stat options. I want to select number 4 for variance. So I hit 4 and now it allows me four different options, the first three of which are going to be very useful for me. n is simply the number of pieces of data, so in this case n will be 5. x bar will give me the mean, so let's hit number 2 and hit equals. And we get 15. Now we hit AC again, clear, shift and 1 will bring me up this list, 4 for variance, and then we want to select number 3 for the standard deviation. You can see it says Sigma X. Sigma is for standard deviation. So if I hit number 3 and equals I get 12.377. Now let's try this for one more example. In this example, we're again asked to find the mean and the standard deviation. In this case, there are eight numbers, and there's quite a spread of numbers. They range from 1 to 7,040. For this reason, I would expect the standard deviation to be a good deal larger than in the last example. Also, the mean takes into consideration all of the data, so it too will be quite high because of this outlier here, 7040. Now the larger the data set, the harder this is to do by hand. So using the calculator, it will be no problem whatsoever. Why don't you try it at home on your own calculator? Follow the steps and see if you get the same answer. First of all, we need to enter our data. We need to hit mode and then select number 2 for stat and this brings up this list of which we want number 1 and that allows us to enter our data so we start with 6 don't forget the equals 103 equals 22 equals 14 equals 39 equals 12 equals 1 equals and our outlier 7040 equals. Now if you make a mistake along the way you can always scroll up and scroll down to edit any of these. Okay so I have my eight pieces of data in now I need to find the mean and the standard deviation. 
So I hit AC, which clears the data. I then hit Shift and 1, which brings up the Stat menu. And you can see number 4 for Variance is the one I want to select. So I hit 4. And the two pieces of information that I'm interested in is X bar and Sigma X. So X bar is the mean, that's number 2. And that's equal to 904.625. So let's write that out here. So X bar is equal to 904.625. The other piece of information I wanted was the standard deviation. So let's hit it all clear and shift and 1 to bring up our menu. 4 for variance and sigma X is the one we want. So we select number 3 and then hit equal to and let's write out our answer here and our standard deviation is 2319.154 thanks for watching this video I hope you'll join us for the next one